Let us learn how to do this beautiful morph transition to showcase four pictures like this. It's surprisingly easy to create. So let us learn how to do this from scratch. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Here we are on a new slide in a new presentation. We start with these four pictures. Make sure that they are all cropped to the exact same dimension. Once done, you select all of these pictures. Go to picture format, go to crop, crop to shape, and you can crop them to this shape here called rectangle rounded corners to give it a nice visual appeal. The next thing I'm going to do is to right click, go to format object, go to 3D rotation, go to presets, and the perspective preset I'm going to use is this one called as perspective contrasting right. I'm going to make them closer to each other. And as you do it, make sure that they are all aligned properly. Let me go to align middle and then distribute it horizontally. And then I'm going to place them somewhere over here. The next thing I'm going to do is to write my text to explain the first picture. Now I'm going to create a duplicate slide. In the first slide, we will only have these four photos. We don't need any explanation on the right hand side. So I'm going to just delete it. Let us go to the second slide and fix the position of these photos. How do we do that? Let us right click and go to grid and guides and check the guides option. I get two guides. One is a vertical one and the other one is a horizontal one. We are going to use both of them to fix the position of this photo. So let me move this vertical guide so it touches the bottom right of this photo here. Then let us move this horizontal guide to make sure that it touches the top edge of the first photo. Can you see here? It touches this. So now whenever we move these photos to this position, we know exactly where to stop. Now that we are on the second slide, let us go to morph transition. You may not really see much happening right now because we have not really done much yet. Now I'm going to move this first picture from here to here. Let us select this and move this over here. Let us go to the same 3D rotation that we used earlier when we applied the preset. You go to the preset and make this as zero manually. And this is a very important thing. Zero, zero, zero and zero. Now you might ask Ram Gopal, why did you not go to preset and say no preset so everything would be normal, right? Now I tried that, but I couldn't get the effect I want. I want this picture to move from the slanted position to this vertical position the way I want. If I had used no preset option, it was not giving the same kind of an effect. Let me show you what I mean by this. Let us go to Morph Transition, go to Transitions and say Morph Transition. Did you see this? Let me go to the first slide so you can notice what I have done here. On a click, you can see that it beautifully moves from here to here in the vertical position. If you try the No Preset option, you would notice that that doesn't really work. I highly recommend that you try it for yourself before you come to this particular technique. Now we have got the explanation for our first picture. Now let us right click and duplicate the slide. Let us fix this position for the picture. I'm going to add another vertical guide. So right click, go to grid and guides and say add vertical guide and place this either to the left or to the right of the picture. So we know exactly where to stop. I'm going to place this somewhere to the left. So the guide touches the left edge of the picture. Now, since we are moving from the first explanation to the second explanation, we are going to make a few changes. First, we are going to make the change to the title and then I'm going to move this out of the scene. So let us zoom out a little bit like this and then use the shift button while holding the shift button, move it outside the slide area and then manually go to X rotation and add 180 degrees. So it flips from here to here. Then we are going to move these three photos to the position where this photo was earlier. So I'm going to use my right arrow key and stop it exactly where this photo touches the vertical guide here. Now let us go to the slideshow. When I go to the first one, you can see that I showcase the first photo like this. Then on the next click, you can see that this one goes away flipped out and the title changes to the next one and the explanation is corresponding to that. And our photos have moved from where they were to the next position ready to be showcased in the next click. Now I'm going to move this photo to this position. So this showcases the second photo. So let us select this as we did earlier, zero, zero, zero and zero for everything. 
and then we know exactly where where it needs to go so we are going to make sure that the left edge of the photo touches this vertical guide beautiful then there is one more thing that requires to be done and that is we need to move these two photos to be in line so i am going to use my right arrow key and we know exactly where this needs to stop so let me quickly summarize what i have done so far first we have these four photos placed to one side like this we fix the position of where these photos are parked initially then we place the first photo in the proper position so we can highlight what this photo is about using this text then in the next slide we did three things first is we moved the first one out of the slide area and we added an x rotation of 180 degrees and then moved the next photo to this place so we can talk about the second photo and while this happened we moved the other two photos to be in line for the next flip now let us go to the first slide and let us see what we have done here this is how we explain the first one and then observe the various things first this picture goes away with x rotation the next photo comes in line and we have this explanation and the next two photos are moved in line so those are the things that we have done let us do this once again let us right click and duplicate slide you know the routine first we are going to change this to subtitle 3 because we are going to explain the next photo naturally this needs to move away from here to outside the slide area so i'm going to hold the shift button down and move it out I'm also going to add an X rotation of 180 degrees so it flips. Then let us move the next one by changing everything to zero. So we have everything in the vertical proper position and then place it here because this is where we are going to position the photo for its explanation. And then let us move this to this place. So the right edge touches the vertical guide. Then right click, duplicate slide, subtitle four. We want this out of the scene hold the shift button down and move it out and then go to the x rotation in the 3d rotation option and say 180 degrees and then we need to change the coordinates of this photo by changing everything to zero and then let us place this somewhere over here so the left edge touches the vertical guide and then if you are really interested we can add some kind of a background so this whole thing looks even more beautiful let me go to view go to slide master and then this is the layout that we have been using right click and paste it so this is a subtle background let me close the window and you can see that we have got our background for all the photos let us go to the first slide now and go to slideshow on a click you can see the first one explained then the second one explained then the third one explained and the fourth one explained now let me show you some simpler animation alternatives to showcase pictures this template explains just one picture. On a click, we talk about the first attribute of this, then the second attribute, the third one, and the fourth one. Of course, this is a template from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle, and you can always replace this picture with any picture of your choice. There are complete video tutorials that show you how to work with our templates step by step, so you don't have to worry at all about using the templates the right way. Let us go to the next one. Here we talk about four icons and text. On a click, we introduce the first icon like this and then the explanation. And we keep doing that for each of the other icons. It's a very interesting animation that definitely catches the audience's attention. Then we go to the last template showcase where we talk about four points with just the photos of a hand with four fingers shown like this. It's a very interesting and quite a dramatic way to talk about the four points. These templates and 4,500 more animated PowerPoint templates are available in our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. The link is in the description box below the video. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that I put together, which shows some very interesting transitions that are all created by us. And the best part is these transitions are so innovative. Your audience will wonder how you created them and they are very easy to create as well. So I will leave a link to this tutorial right now on your screen. Click on the link and watch this video. You will realize the true power of PowerPoint animation and transition. I'll see you in this video next.